933 on your Friday morning. We're having some fun with COSI this morning. They've just announced that the planetarium is going to open up again. Yes, and it's Ty Owen back. The guy who scared me to death last time. <laughs> He's here to show us a very cool experiment, and it involves the space shuttle. Yeah, so one of the issues uh, with the space shuttle is when it comes back into the atmosphere. Re-entry. The re-entry in that atmosphere, there's a whole lot of air around, and moving that air creates some issues, right? Uh -huh. As we compress air, we compress gases, they heat up. Um, so actually uh, really, really to a high temperature. So right here I have a tube and just a little bit of science paper. If you guys at home uh, look in your bathroom, you might find some of the special science paper. <laughs> We're gonna put it inside of this tube right here. Uh -huh. And when I put this uh, plunger in, it's gonna simulate what happens with something coming through the atmosphere. Oh. All this air is sealed inside of here. It won't escape and I push down the plunger. If you watch that piece of paper down at the bottom, we'll see that we get a little bit of smoke and it starts to flash and heat oh. up. Uh, now that's 400 degrees in here, over 451 so degrees. So you're compressing the air in mm -hmm. there and it's creating en heat. Enough heat that it burns the paper, right? Over 451 oh, it degrees. Did. It, yeah. it fried the paper. Now that sounds hot, but a, a meteor coming through the atmosphere right. heats up to over 4,000 degrees, right? Hot enough to melt iron. So anything that's coming uh, bigger than a piece of paper What's coming it, through the atmosphere. An actual, is this is an actual real? meteorite. That's an actual meteorite for real. That, that was is really heavy. Yeah, and it believe really? it or not, that's yeah, a yeah, smaller see, piece. It's solid iron, really heavy, oh, and that's just wow. a small Gilda? piece of it. Um, you know, it's much bigger than that when we land. Oh, and we, we have are, a small we are so here. toast. <laughs> so, <laughs> if this comes yeah. through the atmosphere. Um, so <laughs> that'll do some damage to your car, <laughs> your roof, hurt, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when we think of shooting stars, uh, right. what we're seeing is that meteor come through the atmosphere, heat up, and create that flash of light. Uh, which is really just burning on the outside. Now, okay. to avoid that on the space shuttle, uh, this is a tile from the outside of the space shuttle. Yeah. And you can feel this comparatively. It's oh my gosh. super yeah. light, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like a styrofoam. Foam silica kind of thing. and uh, just silica and 97% air. So it's very, very porous. Hmm. So uh, with this, we can heat it up very high. We can see that it's starting to glow on here, uh, heating up with this blowtorch. Now, my hand is totally cool on the backside, there's no heat. And one of the neat things about this tile is it really dissipates that heat very quickly. So by the time I set this down, right. we can actually turn this over and hold it in your hand. And even though gosh. it was just glowing red hot, it's just slightly warm to the touch on my hand. So this is what's on the outside of the space shuttle, so that yeah. as it's hurtling through the mm -hmm. atmosphere yeah. at, at thousands of degrees with all yeah. that friction happening, because we, we see the pictures of it right. as it's coming mm -hmm. in. It's glowing all the way it's around. It's glowing red hot. And what you're seeing glowing are these tiles. There are differently shaped tiles depending on where it needs to curve mm -hmm. on the space shuttle. And any modern spacecraft uses this type of heat dissipation on the outside of their craft. That is mm. amazing. Do they know that one's missing? <laughs> yeah, these are these are actually NASA uh, very yeah. generously uh, loaned this to us. So this was a production tile that didn't actually make it onto the spacecraft because when they return, they actually do a lot of uh, testing on those tiles to see how well they held up yeah. on the space shuttle. We need to talk about the planetarium. Absolutely. This has been in the works since COSI opened in the new location. How mm -hmm. many years ago now? Uh, we opened in 1999 in the new location. Yeah. And you know it was open for a while and, and closed. And since it's closed, it's been a huge goal of ours to reopen the planetarium. So we're really happy to announce in our, in our 50th year as COSI that in the fall, we plan on reopening the planetarium. Yay. There's a lot of work to do, uh -huh. uh, but we're really hoping to get there and get it open. New digital projector. Yeah. brand new digital projector. Oh wow, uh, look how cool it If looks. you ever saw oh, the planetarium oh, wow. at the old COSI, it was a right. star ball system. Imagine a light inside of a big metal ball with holes poking out to shoot those stars up at the ceiling. Yeah. Now the new digital system uh, can lay over any kind of video or graphics, really anything that you can imagine in the world of digital content, even video games up on the dome without having to recreate new metal components to show That's that up cool. on the screen. That is so cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm so geeked about very this. Fun. I know you're shocked. No, I'm just kind of watching the two of you go back and forth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Ty, thanks so much. Yes, yeah, so very we welcome. It. Absolutely. Loved it, as always. As, yes. thank as always, thank you very much. Yes. For more on COSI and details about the new planetarium, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links.